In this video, we're going to continue working with the finger controls. Let's go ahead now and rename each finger. We'll start with the thumb. Rename the curve anim underscore l underscore thumb or one. We are now going to grab this entire name, control C to copy, and we're going to now rename the group grp underscore anim underscore l underscore thumb or one and you can paste the rest of the name just like so let's go ahead and repeat the same process for the rest of the fingers make sure to go through both hands to rename each finger control. Once we're done with that, let's go ahead now and color code each one of the controls. We're gonna now select all the finger controls, all the groups that is, and we're going to group them together, control G. We're going to center pivot. And now we're going to rename this newly created group GRP underscore L underscore anim fingers 01. Let's go ahead and repeat this for the other side. Now we're going to start working with the constraints. Let's go ahead and parent constrain the newly created group to our hand bone. So first let's select the bind hand root. Now control select the group for the proper hand. And now let's go ahead and apply the constraint. Constraint, parent constraint, maintain offset on, click add. Now we select the groups and we move it to the controls group. Go ahead and test it by moving it around. All the controls for the fingers should follow. Let's go ahead and repeat now the same process on the other side. Let's grab the hand root, control click the group containing all the fingers, controls, constrain, parent constrain, click add. Move the fingers to the controls group. Go ahead and test it. Now let's orient constraint the fingers to controls. First we're going to grab the control, then shift select the root of the finger, in this case index finger. Then we're going to go into constraint orient and making sure that maintain offset is off we're going to click on add, grab the control, shift, select the root, go to constraint, orient constraint, click off, maintain offset, and hit add. If you look at the channel box, this is going to keep our rotations back to zero. Go ahead and test it out. Now we're going to go ahead and repeat for the rest of the fingers. So as you can see, some of these values will not really go into zero when it comes down to the rotation on the actual joint. The reason of why that is, that has to do with the fact that we just inverted this geometry. Still, test it out. It shouldn't give you any issues. Our next step is going to be to clean up the channels. So for each channel, we're going to clean up each finger control, only leaving a rotation behind. We're going to go ahead and do this for all the fingers. Grab the translate, the scale, and visibility, and then lock and hide. Now, to finish things up, we're going to create custom attributes to be able to bend the fingers further. As you can see, right now these controllers are kind of limited. So let's go ahead and do that. First, we're gonna go and select the finger controls, and then go to modify add attributes. For the name, we're going to name it extra controls. We're going to make them displayable and we're going to click add. 
you will see that we show up right here. Now we're going to repeat the process. This time around, we're going to create keyable. We're going to create mid, click add, and then end. Once done, click close. And at this point, we can look at the rotations of each one of these joints. For instance, if I were to select one of my joints, I would see that to rotate my thumb properly, I would have to go my correct orientation to rotate is going to be rotate X. And for the index, I'm going to be looking at rotate Z. Once you know your rotations, now you can go into window, general editors, connection editor. Select the control. In this case, I'm going to select the control for the index finger. Now we're going to load the attributes. Here, by default, you may have something that looks like this. You can just click off in this place where it says show non keyable. And you can do the same thing for the right side as well. When you click on clear all and then select the proper control, you can now hit reload left. Here we're going to select mid. And now let's select the end joints. We'll select this one and we're going to end this one. And we're going to do reload right. Now, we're going to open up the rotate. And we've decided that for our index, it's going to be rotate Z. So, select that for both. Very good. Now, when we select the control and we go to the mid, we would see that we will be able to bend it. Let's go ahead now and set up the end. Select end. Let's reload. In my case, it's going to be index D. And now, we can open up the rotations and let's go rotate Z. You will see that as soon as I click there, there's going to be a little connection made. Now we can go into my control and move the end. So to create the fist, it would be something along those lines. Test it out. Once you're through, we're going to repeat the same process for the rest of the fingers. Go ahead, clear it out. We're going to do the thumb. Click on the thumb, reload left. Now select the two joints. Select the two joints that will control, that will allow us to move the midsection. Load it. So in my case, it's going to be thumb B. Let's look for the rotate. And thumb C. Let's go ahead and look for the rotate as well. Now for the thumb, we're looking at rotate on X. So I already did this one. You can see it there. So all you do is you select rotate on X on both of these. And then once you grab the actual controller and you select the mid area, should allow you to move it. Okay, great. And here we we'll have the end. Very good. Let's go ahead and do one more together and then you'll repeat the rest. Go into Windows, General Editors, Connection Editor, select the controller, load it, 
select the mid joints in my case I'll be selecting this one and this one now I'm gonna go ahead and reload those in this side so I got middle B and middle C for mine let's go ahead and look for the correct rotations in both of these for my regular fingers I'm looking to rotate on Z so select mid rotate on Z rotate on Z all right and now we're ready to select here and test it out very good go ahead and let's now select end and the end is gonna give us control I'm gonna reload open up rotation rotate Z go ahead and test it out fantastic right great so go ahead repeat that process and you'll be done with the fingers our last video we're gonna go ahead and tackle the tie